To create an online store with WooCommerce, we need to install the plugin onto our WordPress site. For this demonstration, I'm using a vanilla installation of WordPress, the default 2020 theme. We begin by just cleaning up our site a little. Remove the default post. Remove the two default pages. And for good measure, set my permalinks in advance to post name. That is done from settings, permalinks, select post name and save the changes. Go to plugins next, add new and type in WooCommerce. You'll quickly spot the plugin as it's got over 5 million active installations. Click install now and then activate. Upon activation, we are shown the setup wizard, which is a good place to start. And I highly recommend you go through it on your first run to ensure you have your basic store set up and ready to go. Fill out your address and indicate if you are setting this site up for a client. Leave it unchecked for now. Continue and you'll be prompted to opt in for sharing non-sensitive data to help improve the WooCommerce experience. This one is up to you. And for now, I'll leave the option unchecked and click on continue. Next, select the industry most applicable to the products we'll be selling. We'll go with the first one, fashion, apparel and accessories, but you can select more than one option if you want to. Continue. Here we choose the type of products. For example, are they physical goods like clothes or downloadable items like music? These two options for physical goods and downloadables are free services with WooCommerce. And if you were to host other services like a membership site or online bookings for events, then you'll need to sign up for these premium features. We stick to the easy stuff here. For our apparel store, we'll only be selling physical goods, so we leave it checked and continue. Select how many products we'll have on our site and we'll stick to 1 to 10 as we only have a few to sell and then choose no for currently selling elsewhere as we are not selling our goods on any other platform. Once we select this, WooCommerce is going to throw a few other options at us and we deselect them all for now. They can be turned on again later when you need to use them. Continue. Next, you get to select the theme you want to use. Now, normally you'd use anything but the 2020 default theme. But in this video, I'll stick to it for now and we'll make theme changes later on. To get an idea of good compatible WordPress themes with Brizzy, head on over to brizzy.io and under resources, have a look at our theme partners for ideas on recommended themes to try out. Continue with my active theme. And next option will be to install and activate Jetpack. In many cases, you'll want to do this as Jetpack offers great integration with WooCommerce. For now, we'll go with no thanks, as we are only focused on setting up the store and building out some products in this starter video series. And that's it, you're mostly set up. Just a word of caution, WooCommerce is constantly making changes and improvements to the product. So what you see here in terms of the wizard and the online HQ may be different tomorrow you will still get the same ease of installation experience. The WooCommerce Store Online HQ is a fancy name for the WooCommerce dashboard in WordPress. Click through the next buttons and then let's go. We're done. Let's have a look at what has changed in the back end. First things, in the sidebar, you'll notice these new labels. WooCommerce, where your store is situated. Products, where you'll create and manage your goods and analytics and marketing below that. If we check in our plugins folder, you'll see that the WooCommerce plugin has been successfully installed. There are a number of useful links here, like docs and community support for you to check out. The last area of note is the pages area. Go to pages, all pages, and you'll see in total four pages, cart, checkout, my account and shop. These were automatically created for you by the WooCommerce wizard and they are essential pages you'll need. 
You'll remember from the previous video we mentioned the shop cart and checkout pages. And now you encounter the My Account page, which is the template page for when visitors create an account with your store. How does your shop look currently? Let's go to the Shop page and click on View. And no surprises here, no products were found matching your selection. As there are no products in our store yet, we need to create those. Let's create our products to put some sparkle to our site. 